So friends, this is Tekul Lab and in this video we are going to interface potentiometer and LED and then we'll control the brightness of our LED. Till now we have discussed that how to turn on and off our LED using digital signal. We have already also discussed potentiometer that how to interface your potentiometer, how to read analog signal and we demonstrated it using serial monitor in our previous video. But today we'll try to uh, demonstrate that how to control the brightness of an LED using analog signal at the output and we'll also see that how a pulse with modulation works in Arduino boards. But before that let's see the analog input and output pins of Arduino Uno. As you are seeing here that A0 to A5 are analog input pins and these pin number 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 and 11 are marked with this symbol or which we say that these pins can be used as pulse with modulation output or you can say these pins are used for can also be used as analog output pins but question comes here what is pulse with modulation in Arduino actually pulse with modulation pins can be used for several applications we can control different appliances components using them and in our previous video we have seen that we turned on and off using digital signal our LED but what if let's say if we want to control our LED's brightness precisely what is the option there in Arduino so over there we use analog output using pulse with modulation friends in uh, Arduino the there is an instruction for pulse with modulation which is analog right and in this uh, instruction there are two parameters pin and duty cycle for pin we need to mention any of these pins if we are using any analog output pin uh, analog output and for duty cycle we need to mention our range mention a value in the range of 0 to 255 and why is this because the resolution of output analog output is 8 bit so 2 to the power 8 combination comes 256 so we need to mention any of the value depending on the value we need at the output putting that range that decimal number equivalent decimal number of that 8 bit code in our instruction so like this we write the command in Arduino ID to get a proper analog output through these pulse with modulation output pins now let's see the mo pulse with modulation concept using this graph in this in this photograph what you are seeing that we are applying 5 volt continuously at the output of any of the analog output pin so this means the duty cycle is 100 percent and in the instruction also we need to mention analog, analog right let's say we are using pin number 3 with the maximum value 255 but let's say if we want to release only half of the analog output that means 2.5 volt at the output what we need to do we need to reduce the duty cycle by 50 percent actually we don't need to reduce or automatically Arduino reduce the uh, duty cycle when we mention the value in the instruction so this is a duty cycle previously it was high for continuously for uh, complete period but now it is high and low it is high for half of the time and low for half of the time so that means the duty, duty cycle is half and in this case the output value will be 2.5 volt at output pin 3 and for this we need to mention the value for duty cycle here is 127 in the same way if let's say we uh, change the duty cycle from 50 to now let's say 30 um, percent in this case also the output potential will will get average out and that average value will be 1.5 volt so this is the value we need to mention in the instruction 77 for to get this 30 percent output or you can say 1.5 volt output at the analog output pin in the same way here i have reduced it to 10 percent and uh, the, the the respective value will be 0.5 volt and let's say if i change it to 90 percent this will be the value which we will get at the output 4.5 volt so like this our pulse with modulation works in arduino uh, 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 boards and this is the reason because we are changing the width of the pulse that's why the name is given as pulse with modulation and this is really a fantastic technique to get the analog output at analog pins of our Arduino boards so friends this is how we use pulse with modulation in Arduino now we'll interface our potentiometer and LED to control the brightness of our LED so let's implement the circuit on uh, the real circuit on board but before that we have a problem here our input analog inputs resolution is in the range of 
0 to 1023 whereas the output resolution is in the range of 0 to 255 so to to match this resolution to match this range from 0 to 1023 to 0 to 255 we need to use a map function or you can divide the input value whatever input value you will read from the analog uh, input by uh, 4 and that will also work and you can write that value directly to the output or you can use the map function mapping the range one range from 0 to 1023 to another range 0 to 255 okay guys so now let's connect the circuit in our previous video we discussed the map function so here in this video we are going to use that and you can see here in the program that we are going to write the value uh, whatever value will be reading at analog pin input at output pin and since in arduino blocks the output analog pins are uh, actually work on pulse width modulation and we have the pins 3 5 6 9 10 and 11 these pins are there which is which are defined for uh, pulse width modulation so these pins can be used as analog output so we are using pin number 3 for outputting our analog value on our LED. So you can see here in the in the circuit also that we have interfaced our potentiometer and this LED is connected with pin number 3. So if we talk about the program it's same as we discussed in our previous video we are first displaying actually we are going to use serial monitor also to display parallelly the value here on display. So for that we are first writing one string analog input and then we are uh, displaying the, the input the analog value which we are we will be reading on A node and then we will set or you can say we will be using a variable we, we have named it mapped value so the value which we will be reading on A node first it will be mapped in the range of 0 to 255 and then it will be stored in mapped value then again we will be then in next two instructions again we are writing it on serial monitor with the name of analog input and map value and finally we will write that red analog value on our output pin 3 so whatever be the map value stored in this variable will be then written on pin number 3 so now let's upload this program first let's see the serial monitor okay so my wiper, my potentiometer is at an initial position. Now I'm changing its position and you can see that the value on serial monitor also changing both the analog input and analog output. And you can see the brightness of this LED. It's also changing with the change in the analog input. So like this, you can control the brightness of your LED with the help of analog input. And for that, what we are using here, a potentiometer. So guys, this is all about our brightness control program. Okay, I forgot to show you this Arduino ID code also. You can see this Arduino ID code too. That in this, we are first uh, serial printing this analog input or string, then the value, then we are storing the value of that map value in map value variable, and then we are then printing that map value on uh, serial print. And then finally, we are writing by using analog write instruction that map value on output pin 3. So this is the Arduino ID code. And this is all about our brightness, LED brightness control video.